Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you the stuff to look for inside of Google Analytics to see whether or not you're having problems or potential problems with your SEO on your WordPress site. And these are things you'll want to address and fix before you start doing serious SEO on your site. Or if you are doing SEO, stop doing it until you fix the issues that you find and then carry on doing SEO. Otherwise, it's a bunch of wasted effort. So this is us in the dashboard right now. This is a website from a client of ours. And what we want to see is traffic being fairly stable, like it is here. That's We have uh, on the weekends, Friday, Saturday is the lowest, and then Sunday is a bit up. And the next week, Saturday is the lowest again. And then again, Saturday is the low point. And then we have another low point on Saturday. So you want to see trends like that where they're pretty stable, traffic is pretty good, no content is being added to this website, so we don't have to see increases in traffic. If you're steadily adding content on a regular basis, you want to see your traffic steadily go up. If it's not steadily going up, there's some sort of problem. So you want to, if you are adding a lot of content, you'll know who you are, and you want to see your traffic going up over time. If it's not, there's a problem. And also, you want to see, once you get to a certain level in your market, this doesn't work for small sites, but for larger sites that are getting a lot of traffic, you will see weekly or monthly or uh, quarterly rhythms in your traffic. So when I was pointing out that Saturday is the dip every time, normally you would be concerned with dips in traffic, but in this case I'm not because I can see that every Saturday is a dip. So for whatever reason, Saturdays, this client's market just doesn't go on her website. So that could be just because they're out playing with their kids on Saturday, or it could be because she's not promoting hard enough on Saturdays. It's hard to tell. It could be a lot of things. But the point is, normally a dip in traffic is a red flag, but in this case it's not a red flag because I know that, or I can see over time that Saturdays are the low points. And there's another thing to watch out for, which I'm going to illustrate by changing the dates. See if I get these right. You see this giant spike in traffic right here? 7,300 people that one day it just dwarfs everything else. This is what we we're looking at before, the timeline right here where we have the dips on Saturdays. That's what we're looking at before. And this is just before that giant spike. And just as much as we're concerned with dips in traffic and those could be problems, we're also concerned with big spikes in traffic because those can present problems or represent problems. In this case, I know exactly what the spike was. There was a big promotion, there was a new product being launched, we had a lot of promoters promoting that product for this client, and so that's what this giant jump in traffic was. So I'm not concerned about that, because I know what the source was. If you, do, if you have giant spikes in traffic like that, and you don't know why they're there, and you're not seeing uh, a correlated increase in sales or opt-ins or actions on your website, you may even be suffering from a denial of service attack from a hacker. Someone who doesn't like you wants to shut your site down. A uh, denial of service attack is when they send just hordes of traffic to your website to try to bring your server down. It's a bunch of fake traffic that will make it so that your real traffic can't access your site. So that, that's a potential reason for seeing these spikes in traffic if you don't have other, any other explanations for them. It might be something to look into. However, for that spike, I know what that was about. And what I encourage you to do is if you have a team of people that works in Google Analytics, you should create annotations on these timelines. So below the, the graph, the chart up here, there's a little down arrow. It's quite subtle. When you click on that, you on the right hand side, you have the option to create a new annotation. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to set the date to October 5th because that's the date of that big spike in traffic. And I'm going to say affiliate promotion launched. And then if you're working with multiple people on this profile, you want to set it to shared. Currently, I'm the only one who has access to the profile, so I don't have the option to share it. And when you have that label in there, click on save, and it adds a little tiny speech bubble right there. And when you click on that speech bubble, it then opens the uh, or the note about that speech bubble at the bottom. So whenever there's weird stuff going on in the reports that may look suspicious or may kind of raise a red flag, but you know what the cause is 
add a note. So you can let all your team members know about it, and then it's not a cause for concern. So that's the kind of stuff we want to watch out for in Google Analytics. Huge spikes in traffic, huge dips in traffic, both of which are unexplained, and you don't know why they're happening. You also want to make sure, even before that, that you're actually registering traffic, because if this, if this line is totally blank or totally flatlined at zero all the time, there's a problem with your integration. So that's gonna be an issue. Now the next thing you wanna check, on the right hand side, go to the acquisition menu, click on all traffic, click on source slash medium. And in this list, you will see where all the traffic came from. So we have Google organic, we have some referrals, we have Bing organic, we have some spam referrals. When you see something like best SEO software.xyz, it's spam. And there's a lot of those. A lot of, um, a lot of ones are called social buttons. Something to do with social buttons in the URL. Those are all spam. Uh, so we have another referral, Yahoo Organic. So we've got a bunch of organic and referrals in here. And that's good. We're, we're looking specifically for SEO problems or potential problems. So the fact that we're getting organic traffic is a good sign. So no red flag there. If you had only referrals, and only social media and only direct traffic. Direct means they either type in the URL directly or they come via email that doesn't have um, a Google campaign associated with it. If that's all you have and you don't see any organic results, there's a potential problem. And that's the size of it. If, if inside of Google Analytics, those things are true, one, you're tracking data, two, you have no dips or spikes in traffic, or if you do have dips and spikes, you know why they're there. If you regularly post content, you wanna see a steady increase in traffic over time. And if you go to the acquisitions, all traffic, source medium report, you are seeing plenty of organic traffic, meaning from search engines. And those are all the signs you need in place to be confident that your SEO efforts are not gonna be hampered by things that you don't know about. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos like this every day and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.